Right, listen up, you lot. Ilt's writing task one. It's a bit like trying to parallel park a lorry in a phone booth. Tricky, but doable. But don't worry, with the right strategies, you can master it. You've got 20 minutes to describe some visual data. That's not a lot of time, so you need to be efficient and focused. Could be a graph, a chart, even a diagram of how to make a cuppa, though probably not that exciting. The key is to understand the data quickly. The key here is clear, concise writing. You need to get straight to the point without any unnecessary fluff. None of that flowery language you use to impress your English teacher. Keep it simple and direct. Think of it like explaining something to a mate down the pub, simple and straightforward. Imagine you're just having a casual chat. Now, before you speed off without a seatbelt, never a good idea, let's break down the different types of tasks you might face. There are several types, and each requires a slightly different approach. Get ready to conquer hilts. Writing task one. It's time to put the pedal to the metal. With practice and the right mindset, you'll be able to tackle any task that comes your way. First up, the classics, line graphs and bar charts. These bad boys love to show trends over time or compare different categories. Think of it like tracking the speed of your car on a racetrack. When tackling these, start by identifying the main trends. Is it going up, down, staying the same? Use powerful verbs and adverbs to describe these changes. Skyrocketed, plummeted, remained stable, you get the picture. Don't forget to highlight key features. The highest point, the lowest point, any significant differences, these are your VIPs. Make sure they get the attention they deserve. Next, we've got pie charts and tables. These are all about proportions and comparisons. Imagine slicing up a delicious pie. Each slice represents a different chunk of data. With these, focus on the most significant slices or the most interesting comparisons. No need to bore everyone with every single detail. Use language like the majority, a minority, or a significant portion to paint a clear picture. And remember, tables are like those super-organized friends who love spreadsheets. They present data in neat rows and columns. Your job is to find the juicy bits and present them in a clear, concise way. Section 4. Mapping your way to success. Describing maps and processes. Now for something a bit different. Maps and processes. These tools are essential for visualizing information in a clear and structured way. Maps show locations and changes over time, while processes illustrate how things work. Step by step, they help us understand the evolution and the intricate details of development. When describing a map, think about directions and landmarks. These elements are crucial for providing context and orientation. North of, adjacent to, in the vicinity of. These are your trusty navigation tools. They help pinpoint exact locations and relationships between different points. For processes, focus on the sequence of events. Each step should be clearly defined and logically connected to the next. Use words like firstly, subsequently, finally to guide the reader through each stage. Remember, clarity is key. This ensures that the reader can follow along without confusion. You want your reader to effortlessly follow the journey, whether it's across a map or through a complex process. The goal is to make the information accessible and easy to understand. Section 5. General Tips for Ilts Writing. Task 1. Success. Right, before I unleash you on the world of Ilts Writing Task 1, here are a few golden nuggets of wisdom that can make a significant difference in your performance. 1. Time is of the essence. 20 minutes isn't long, so use it wisely. Plan your writing, even if it's just a quick scribble. A well-thought-out plan can save you precious minutes and help you stay focused. 2. Word count matters. Aim for at least 150 words. Think of it like a parking space. You don't want to be too short or you'll get a ticket, or in this case, a lower score. But also, don't go overboard. Being concise and to the point is key. 3. Structure is your friend. Introduce the data, describe the main features, and draw a conclusion. It's like building a car. You need all the right parts in the right order. A clear structure not only helps you stay organized, but also makes it easier for the examiner to follow your argument. 4. Always review your work. Spend a couple of minutes at the end to check for any grammatical errors or awkward phrasing. This final review can help you catch mistakes that could cost you valuable points. With these tips in mind, you'll be well on your way to mastering Ilt's writing task one.
good luck. Section 6 conclusion, you've got this. So there you have it, a whistle-stop tour of Eelts writing task 1. Remember, practice makes perfect. Get your hands on some past papers, put pen to paper or fingers to keyboard, and start honing your skills. And most importantly, don't panic. You've got this. Now go out there and smash it.